transition pictures for Whitney Houston. I should know more about this woman because she certainly had the most fabulous voice. I know she started off singing in church when she was very, very young and was picked out of obscurity at the age of 19 by Arista Records and Clive Davis and went on to sell, I think, 200 million albums in the end. She got a drug problem. She went into rehab. It didn't work. Her drug problem got worse. She had all sorts of problems with her husband, Bobby Brown. I mean, you know the story, probably. It was all over the tabloids for decades. And in the end, she died at the Beverly Hilton by drowning. I didn't know that. She died by drowning in her bath in her hotel room after taking cocaine and goodness knows what else. When I went into the energy, it was the usual metaphorical tunnels. And when I found her, she was spinning. Just floating, but spinning around and around and around and around. And after a while, she realized that something had to be done. She couldn't just keep on turning. And somehow she got onto the rock, metaphorical rock. She got onto the rock and held onto it, very unsure of where she actually was. And completely clueless about what to do next. Bit by bit, she came down to the floor and stood there. By the time she actually arrived in the center of what I always see as a cave with the big tunnel behind it, she was getting way more aware of her surroundings. There was a weird thing whereby she expected to be picked up, that somebody was coming to just give her a ride or to show her the way. Like, my maid will be here in a second, or room service will be here, or some, there was that sense of somebody coming to just show her the way, just to take care of her, just to guide her. Somebody will come, it's fine. When nobody came, because there's nobody there, she became a little perplexed. Where is everyone? That kind of thing. Really confused. And she became aware of the pull, that there is a natural current that draws you in, that makes you move on. The tunnel she would have to climb. What was fascinating to me, having done quite a few of these now, was that people who have issues, who have ego problems, constraints, encumbrances from their mortal life, have to shed them somehow during this process. Whether it takes one tunnel or 10, they have to shed all that in order to be light enough to go into the light, to really fully transition into the next stage of their existence. And there was none of that in this tunnel. Of all the people, you would think that she would have a mass of obstacles or things that would be stripping her of ego concerns as she went. Because it's happened to so many. There were none. And I didn't know why. She keeps on going up the tunnel. Grumbling constantly, by the way. I couldn't hear what she was saying, but it was like... Oh, this is... Oh, it's almost like she was saying, this is very unfair. This shouldn't be happening to me. Where's my personal assistant? about two-thirds of the way up, there was a set of bars, like jail cell bars. I have never seen that before. It's very dark beyond the bars. There's like a little cave back there or something. But as her eyes adjust, she can make out a form. Some golem-like creature that is lying on the floor of this little alcove. And the more she looks at this crumpled being on the floor, the more she recognizes it. It's her. It's the young her. Staring back out at her with enormous, Teary eyes, 
starved of love, care, attention. This is the child within. This is the authentic self that fame, stardom, success, money, marriage, drugs caused her to leave behind the innocent, talented girl singing in the church at the age of 12 or 14. This was her. And she looked at her young self, her soul self, and felt every ounce of ego, encumbrance, every issue, every problem, just fall away. Almost like the dress fell off her. It all went in one instant. As this reminder of how far she had strayed from her authentic self stared at her. I don't really hear people speaking clearly in these things. I think that's just my imagination sometimes. But if I had to put words into the mouth of this crumpled, disheartened, soul, they'd be something like, what did you do? Adult Whitney outside the bars pulls away. It's like full realization of how far she's strayed from her divine path. It was a profound moment. A soul laid bare. That's what took all the ego stuff away. That's what left her egoically naked. It was like when you see a bird lying on the sidewalk, injured, not dead. But you know it's never, ever going to fly again. And you have this enormous compassion for it and you want to do something. But you know there's nothing you can do. It's too late. And that's what this felt like to her. It's too late. There's nothing I can do. Humbled, she continued the journey up the rest of the tunnel and arrived in this symbolic room I always see where the light is. And after this shock, she just had this gut-wrenching realization. She was ready to go. She went over, and there were these shifting lights that I've seen before moving around under the surface, which I always think is probably the force of grace, the arms of unconditional love waiting to greet you. That alone was enough to induce her to cross over. But rather than step into the light, like a few others, she turned around, and lay back into it. <sighs> yes! And she just sank into it. It closed around her and she sank and vanished. It was such an emotional journey but also a reminder to us to not lose sight of our authentic center, to not be pulled away from what we intuitively know is right for us by the lure of 
stuff, money, fame, if that's offered, position, success. All of those things are great if they're on our soul's path. Fairly earned, congruently embraced, wholeheartedly appreciated, with a clear head. But if we let those things, irrelevant mortal things, drag us away from our course, our soul-driven destiny, our soul's path becomes like this little child, abandoned, forgotten, locked in jail where it can't be reached. What did you do? Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, subscribe to the channel. Share if you want. Like. Follow me on Twitter. It's a good idea too. At Cash Peters. I'm actually quite emotional even now. Um, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.